Good morning, learners. How are you today? We are starting our lesson on national value. The topic is religious intolerance. Religious intolerance means the inability to accept that other religions have the right to practice their own religion. Whereby other religions will want others not to practice their own. Religious intolerance occurs when some members of the society refuse to accept or tolerate other religious practices. For instance, some people want everybody to belong to their own religion or sect. Such people sometimes attack and kill those of other religion or sect. Some religious groups attacking and destroying lives and property. Look at the picture. If you watch them, see here they put fire on some buildings, cars, and even some lives. People. And sometimes ago, there were religious riots in some parts of the northern states, especially in Kano. Some Muslims tried to force others to join their own sect of Islamic religion. This group was known as Metatessian group. They killed many people and they destroyed properties. Recently, the Boko Haram has also destroyed lives and properties in northern part of Nigeria. There had been there had been religious riots in other parts of Nigeria, such as Kedina, Kafanchan, Bedugri, Bauchi, Kasina, and Borono states. You could remember some time ago, some years back, when those people kidnapped the pop girls, the federal government girls secondary school in Borono. Look at the group. The Boko Haram group sector. You see the arms they are carrying, the guns and other arms. Look at them. See lives and property they are destroyed. God is merciful, kind and peaceful. He does not want violence. People should not fight or kill one another because of religion. Then effect of religious intolerance. Or conflicts. Some bad effects of religious intolerance slash conflicts on the society are 1. Loss of lives and property. 2. Public disturbance. 3. Wasteful spending. 4. Hatred. 5. Kidnapping. Then loss of lives and the property. When this intolerance occur, so many lives and property will be destroyed. Public disturbance. People will be living in fear. Then wasteful spending. They will be spending public money in buying arms and weapons. Hatred. Each group will hate themselves. Hate each other. Then kidnapping will be hearing kidnapping here and there. Then the major cause of religious conflict and intolerance. The major cause of it is there are one multi ethnic groups. In Nigeria we have more than two hundred and fifty ethnic groups. So because of these groups the intolerance happens because as we have so many ethnic groups we have so many religious groups. Two lack of statistical data the accurate number of people in different areas, they find it difficult to get the accurate data. So it causes problems. Three, social political factor. In Nigeria, we have many political problems. The northern will rule us, the eastern will rule us, the southern. So because of that, they will be having problems here and there who will be on top. Social economic factor. Our economic will be going directly to one side. 
which will cause problem. Then governance factor, that is who will be the governor, who will govern, who will be in the government. All these are the problems caused by religious intolerance. Do you have any question? Okay, what is religious intolerance? Okay. What do you call the group that attack other people? They are called Mediterranean group. Okay. Who are the Boko Harams? Who are they? Good. The group of people that attack and kill people in order to secure their, their religion. Can you mention three effects of religious intolerance? Mm-hmm. Rise of rights and property one. Hatred two, good. Kidnapping, yeah. Two, cause, two major causes of religious intolerance. Multi ethnic group, mm-hmm. And social political factor, good. Have a nice day. I love you. Bye.